Hey guys, back with another video. Uh, it's been a little while since I came out with one, but uh, I just really haven't had anything to like review or talk about. Uh, I've had my Lefebvre set on order. It, based on what I was originally told, it should have been here by now, which I just checked on. And supposedly within this, about a week I should have it. So I'll look out for a Lefebvre, uh, kind of, a, I'll do like an overview unboxing when I get it. And then after using it for a while, I'll do a review. Uh, that's definitely something I'm looking forward to because that's just a company that's had a lot of hype about it. So I'm really looking forward to try those out. But uh, anyway, this video is really just to kind of show off, a, it's not really a review or anything. It's, it's just to show off my new mask that I got. Uh, it was, I bought the, it's a new to me mask. It was a used mask, but it was in good shape. And I also got it wrapped. Um, once again, I use Skin FX to wrap my mask. That's the same uh, company I used to wrap the previous mask that's in a previous video. If you go back in my videos, you'll see it. Um, so this time I had bought a used uh, Bauer 961. I'll talk a little bit about the about the Bauer mask, but this video is not really a, a review of a, of a Bauer 961. I mean, mainly because it's. I feel like at this point, there's not really a point. There's no point in reviewing it because it's just, it's an older mask that's, that's they're not really making it anymore. Bauer has updated it. They have the VTX or the Enemy series now. So it, I feel like most people wouldn't really be interested in, in necessarily a review of the mask. I mean, it's, it's a classic, uh, very popular mask from the past. So I think there's already a lot of information about it out there. There's no need for me to review it. But um, anyway, this is, the Bauer 961 with the wrap job from uh, Skin FX. I, I think this is really beautiful. I mean, I would put this up there with like any of the uh, actual Florida Panthers goalies masks that have uh, been on the team since they've gone with this, with this uh, logo and kind of somewhat color change. Um, so it's, you know, it's very simple. And for me, what makes a good mask is just something that's, you know, simple, uh, a clear design, and that you can tell what it is from far away or up close. Um, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of masks that get done that like, the detail work is impeccable, but it's just, you start getting 15, 20 feet away or more if you're up in the stands and it just looks like a mess, you can't make it out. So for me, like, if you think about like almost all the classic masks in NHL history, they mostly have just like a clear, you know, uh, theme going on with it where that's clearly visible from fur further away. And it's, and that's what I went with with this. So I'm a Panthers fan. My gear I get is Panthers colors. Um, so my previous mask I got wrapped was the old logo, the older colors, because that's the gear mainly I use, but I wanted, so this is only gonna be like my backup mask. I didn't buy this to replace it because I still like, the my other mask is an Otney, and I still like that, and it fits me better than this Bauer one does. So this is just gonna be like, uh, I'll wear it every now and then, just for fun, or if I need a, ba you know, if I ever need it, my Otney, something happens to it, and I need a backup mask, that's basically what this is. Um, and so yeah, like the Otney is a more modern mask. It, uh, I feel like it's better protection, it definitely fits me better. This, even though this is a large, I'm like right at the limit of it fitting me. Like and my head is like pushing this back plate pretty much about all the way it can be pushed before it would be like deemed unsafe with a big gap there. So, um, yeah, the Otney is just a little more comfortable. I feel like it's a little more protective. So just as far as like the masks go, you know, I like the Otney better. But uh, this wrap job is just really incredible. So once again, I mean, I recommended them with the, the other mask video I did. Skin FX is, does great work. Highly recommend them. Um, you know, a lot of people ask like about pricing and stuff. I mean, that's always gonna depend on what design you want the more intricate the design the more expensive it would be um so this one just for him to like wrap it i believe i believe it was like 300 but then also then you know you have to pay for the shipping and stuff so again that's going to depend on how far away he has to ship it to get it to you 
or whatever. But uh, this is about, yeah, it's about a $300 wrap. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not cheap, but it's definitely cheaper than if I were to pay somebody to do this as a paint job on it. And as I said in my previous wrap kind of review video, you know, the wrap lasts way longer than paint. It's not gonna chip. Um, the wrap itself almost acts like a, a protective covering over the, uh, the mask. Um, besides the wrap with this mask, I also, uh, I got it refurbed, uh, refurbished by, let me just double check it, new, new Image Goalie Masks. So this is the first time I've gotten a mask refurbished by someone else. In the past, I've changed padding out of masks myself. And like, it's worked, you know, decent, but it kind of, you know, it looks like a homemade job. Like, I'm, I'm not like great at it. So with this one, since I was getting a nice, uh, wrap on it. I wanted, you know, like a pro to do the padding in it to make it look nice. And uh, as you can see, it's it looks like how it would come from like if you got it brand new from Bauer or whatever. So uh, New Image did a did a great job putting new padding in, new uh, chin sling in because the mask itself came with a chin cup, which I'm I'm not using anymore. Um, team chin sling now. So did the refurb on the, on the foam. Uh, the straps were just like the generic, uh, like a cream colored that most masks come with. So I ordered these red straps and also red clips. You can see the clip itself is red too. Ordered that from Goalie Parts. Also ordered the uh, gold cage from Goalie Parts because the cage that came with this mask was just chrome. But obviously the gold goes better with the the panthers colors has gold in it and obviously the red goes better with the panthers colors with red in it um so yeah I, I mean just with everything the wrap the pad refurb the uh the replacement straps and clips i got the the new cage that goes with it i mean i just think this mask really came together to be beautiful i mean obviously i'm biased it's my mask but like i don't know man i don't know how you can hate on this mask really um this Thing at the chin so it, it's kind of like a an alternate logo Hold on. yeah okay so you see on the jersey so they use this so I did I use this part it's kind of like so this is basically a state of Florida flag except the actual state of Florida fa flag has a different thing and it doesn't have this like Sun or whatever this is supposed to be in the middle it's got like a, a picture of something so what the Panthers did for this patch on they have on their jersey is they took the state of Florida flag and then they just put this like sun logo that they've used in the past. So I used just this flag part for the chin. I wanted that on the chin and then just the logo large on either side with the uh, the uh, red stripe and, and uh, gold smaller stripes going down the middle. And then on the back, I basically did the top part of this patch. It says Florida, got the Panther going. I mean, I couldn't really think of anything that special to go on the back plate. Uh, I'm not a person that feel like I don't have kids or anything. I don't, you know, there's nothing like sentimental that I really want to put on the back plate. And I wanted to keep this just a, a Panthers theme thing. So yeah, I just went with that uh, on the back plate. Again, clean, clear look goes with the mask. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Just kind of wanted to show you guys another great job by uh, Skin FX Wrap. And then also, like I said, the first time I've used uh, somebody for a refurbishing of the padding, new image, they're great, work with them. So if you guys need uh, some kind of, re and then they do more than just the padding. Uh, that's really all I need to do with this mask is the mask was in really good condition even though I bought it used and it's an older mask. I think it was from like 2015. Um, the mask still looked almost brand new. It was in great shape and I got it for a good price, which is one of the reasons why I decided to go with this as a backup mask. Even though the 961 isn't necessarily like the best fit for me, but it was pretty cheap. It was, it's a pro level mask. It's a classic mask, classic shape that's been around for years that a lot of goalies use. Um, so yeah, but if you need ref any kind of refurbishing with your mask, check out, um, new image goalie mask just want to make sure i'm getting the name new image goalie mask yeah um i would i recommend them 
This is the second video now I'm talking about a wrap. I recommend SkinFX for a wrap and this is not like I'm not getting paid or they didn't ask me to do that. This is just me receiving a service and, and being very happy with it. So I'm, you know, letting elders know about it. But uh, yeah, so um, I don't really know what other questions you would have, but if you guys have any questions about this, I'll be happy to answer. Just leave a comment below. Other than that, keep an eye out for my uh, LaFay video. As soon as I get my, my set coming in, I'll do, you know, like an initial overview unboxing video. Uh, so just look out for that. Um, so yeah, otherwise I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.